One Jubilee, Quinquangeniri, Golden Anniversary, Five Decades, Half Century, or even one twentieth of a millennium. No matter how you say it, 50 years is a long time. It's an important milestone, always worthy of a celebration. And 2017 marks the 50th anniversary of McHenry County College. My name is Jay Geller, faculty member here at MCC. Join me as we look back on the last 50 years, seeing how the college has grown, and more importantly, how it has changed lives. As the structure was being established for McHenry County to have a college, many people were involved. Of course, the idea of formal education was by no means new. What we consider higher education existed before the United States was even formed. The concept of the community college was developed in the mid to late 19th century, and here in Illinois, our first was in Joliet. As the decades moved on, more and more community colleges were developed. Now, it is important to know where you are and how you got there. So before we listen to the stories of people changed by MCC, let's take a brief look at the history of McHenry County College. The history of McHenry County College began before we even opened our doors. In the early 1960s, a group of citizens looked to bring an institution to this area. The task was not as easy as you might think. If you look back in the history, early history, because I was one of the first people, uh, after the first three or four people to be employed, you realize that whatever you want to call them, the powers that be, were not overly excited about having a college on their tax rolls, perhaps, or whatever. And so we had a bit of an up uphill battle, but it made us into a team. And we tried several times, but we finally did get the college uh, to be a viable part of our community. In April of 1967, the referendum did pass to establish the school, however. In June of that year, the Board of Trustees met for the first time, and in November, Forrest D. Etheridge was appointed the founding president. At that point, the college did not have a name, so a contest to name it was created. The prize? A one-term scholarship with a value of $100. And that is how McHenry County College got its name. 1968 was an important year as the IIT Pure Oil Building in Crystal Lake was selected as MCC's interim campus. I recall setting up the uh, laboratories in the old Pure Oil Building, which was originally a chemistry laboratory. I think some of the facilities there were, were very good, except they were old. You know, there, were, there was no air conditioning in the old building. And uh, when, when it got real hot in the summer, all the windows and doors just opened up. In September of that year, the doors opened to over 300 full-time and 1,000 part-time students. At that time, the first issue of our student newspaper, The Tartan, was printed. Our first commencement happened in June of 1970, marking the first graduating class of MCC. As we moved through the 70s, land on Route 14 was purchased and the state of Illinois provided money for a permanent building. Buildings A and D were the first to be built. I ended up taking a class and this class was held in uh, D building which uh, was at the time uh, its own separate building. Didn't have, uh, wasn't connected to uh, the main building at all. If I, if I had to, if I wanted to get something to eat I'd have to go to the cafeteria and uh, go to class, my horticulture class, and no matter if it was raining or not, you'd have to uh, go outside, get all wet. The first and only strike by MCC faculty happened in the fall of 1980. It lasted six days before an agreement was finally reached. 
The 80s saw expansion with major construction. Buildings B and C were added forming a connection between building A and D. Adjoining acres were purchased and the board approved the development of a training facility which would later become an off-campus site known as the Shaw Center. The 1990s brought more construction with the expansion of the library and Building A, plus the addition of Building E. More importantly, our programs and our community offerings began to provide services to help more and more students. The opening of the Small Business Development Center, Adult Volunteer Literacy Tutoring Program, the Fast Track, and the operating of the Traffic Safety School all came to be. MCC also began our Kids on Campus program. With the turn of the millennia, McHenry County College continued to provide affordable college courses and community options. We saw some major remodeling which added updated facilities for our students. A new culinary kitchen, a new robotics lab, and the expansion of the manufacturing lab provided state-of-the-art equipment for students enrolled in those programs. A new black box theater was built to continue the tradition of providing high quality performing arts to the surrounding communities. And in 2014, MCC was named one of the top 150 community colleges in the United States by the Aspen Institute. CNN and College Measures ranked it one of the most affordable and successful community colleges in all of Illinois. So how has McHenry County College fared after 50 years of service? MCC consists of hundreds of dedicated employees committed to a thriving culture of continuous improvement. At the heart of MCC, as always, are the students. Whether they come here to start an educational journey, finish a dream that got sidetracked, or try something new. Today, MCC provides training, adult education, and college-level courses to over 7,000 credit and 30,000 non-credit students per year plus community events, seminars, special programs, and more that all told benefit nearly 60,000 participants per year. On the degree side, MCC offers different types of associate's degrees covering the sciences, arts, fine arts, engineering science, and general education. Degrees and certificates are also available through online courses. Students can now get a degree from home without ever setting foot in the classroom. On the non-credit side, MCC offers more than 500 classes and workshops for lifelong learners in topics ranging from music, art, and dance to finance and investing. Besides the main campus, MCC's award-winning Shaw Center for Commerce and Economic Development in McHenry provides training, technical assistance, assessment, and small business development to over 500 local businesses and their employees annually. For those who do not attend classes at MCC, there are a wealth of social, cultural, and community-focused resources and programming that have made MCC one of the best-kept secrets in the county, from free concerts, health fairs, and lecture series, to exciting college-level athletic events, a fitness center, and our collegiate library. When it comes to instructional technology, MCC has always been on the cutting edge. For example, the recent additions of the Nursing Lab, the Health Profession Simulation Apartment, the Robotics Lab, the Manufacturing Lab, the hydroponics greenhouse, and the state-of-the-art culinary kitchen. At MCC, there is no limit to what students can experience. The journey may begin in grade school with kids in college or in sport camp programs. It may begin during or after high school with college courses, student organizations, or athletics. Or it might start further down the road in our retired adult program. The possibilities are endless. And we are proud of the fact that learners of all ages, interests, and backgrounds feel at home here. MCC is also proud of the fact that data from the last five years show that full-time MCC freshmen complete a degree or certificate or transfer to a four-year college within three years at a rate higher than the statewide average. Plus, MCC students have proven over and over that they do just as well, if not better, 
than transfer students at four-year institutions. And MCC's graduation rate is better than 67% of colleges nationwide. Indeed, of the 60,000 people who pass through the doors here every year, everyone gains access to the benefits of infinite possibilities. Most certainly, there have been many important contributions as well as many challenges along the way. Regardless of the issues that have arisen, the common denominator has always been a focus on learning and instruction. A lot has happened to get McHenry County College where it is today. All of the people who have worked here or came here to learn make up the 50-year history. Their stories are all part of the great saga of MCC. I was in fact hired to teach a class at the old Pure Oil building. So not many people today would even know where that was. I'd walk in in the morning, and the floors would be damp from moisture, the ceilings would be hot and humid, and in between would be a little cloud. So you kind of walk through the building as a little cloud in a way. I started my college career here at MCC back in 1984, uh, where December of that year, I met a, a young lady by the name of Karen Benson. Her name's now Karen Kretschmer. I met my husband at MCC, and um, he was actually, we were both homecoming uh, candidates, and um, he actually became homecoming king. I did not become queen. <laughs> One day, about 20 years ago, I was sitting in my office grading papers, and I have a window, which I'm grateful for, and I looked out the window, and what to my wondering eyes should appear but a gigantic steer drooling like a fire hose out of its massive head and looking in my window. And so I got on the phone, and I, I was like the old Bob Newhart routines with King Kong that I called uh, security and said, uh, there's a cow outside my window. Yes, we know, and we're going to try to deal with it. Well, the next thing I know, everybody's heading outside, and there's a steer bumping his head up against uh, Mark Eccles' faculty office window, breaking the glass. Then all of the security people, the maintenance people, the custodial people came out. And here comes an honest-to-goodness cowboy. He's got the lasso, he's got the horse, the cowboy hat, the bandana. And he corralled him and took him back over to the uh, radio station where he had been corralled so that they could be assessed as agricultural property. I think that was the, the story that I heard at the time. And they paid for my window. I got a new window out of it. Not too long ago I had a chance to go up in our barn and we live in McHenry County. My husband's family has been here for over 70 years and up in that barn I found a great big desk. It was a desk that actually had access from two sides. And I was looking in it, milling about, and there wasn't much in it on the side I was in. And I pushed a drawer very hard and then heard something drop. So I went around to the other side of the desk on the floor of the barn and I found a pin that was no bigger than a quarter and the background was white and it was beginning to rust a little bit. However, it gave me pause because I sat there and thought about McHenry County College was at that time called a junior college and it was probably around the time the college was forming and there was a campaign to engage the community and know more about MCC. Also one of the other most important things I did was invite my sister Dory Sullins to come to an early childhood education conference which also started under my watch um, along with Molly Walsh and she came came and volunteered and helped and she and Rebecca Strong kind of hit it off and the next thing you know Dory has been hired to work at MCC and she's still there. <laughs> she owes everything to me. And we would have chair races in the hallway in the lower level of what was then building eight. Well, we used to have uh, chair races in the hall. People would get in the chairs that had wheels and they would push each other to see who would go the fastest. We also had our basketball teams that would sit on the same side of the gym in the bleachers with the fans. And as you can imagine, 
Most basketball coaches do not always have the healthiest educational language. Oh. And that's where I got my career. That's my career it. started with happy birthday because I know all the words. All the words. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. We had this Halloween party. We always come dressed up. And so one year I came dressed up as a clown and everybody really didn't know who I was at the time until they start uh, seeing me driving a lawnmower outside. For those of you who didn't know Edith Nichols, Edith Nichols was the longtime administrative assistant for the Mass Science Division. And she was here for 20 years and people would say that the Mass Science Division was actually became known as the people who work with Edith. I remember the first time I came to MCC the first day, you just say, you know, we're really proud of this division because we won the Halloween display six years in a row or whatever it was. And every year, everybody looked forward to what Edith was going to do with the Halloween display. So in about September, gee whiz, what's Edith going to do? And every year I says, Edith, this is the best one you've ever done. And, um, you know, you couldn't do any better couldn't do any better, but every year she'd outdo herself. And one of the first things I did was to computerize the library. I got a grant from the Department of Education in Washington to combine three community colleges and combine all the library services for those colleges on the computer. And we did away with card catalog and, and we had terminals installed in the library, which they accessed all their materials, checked out materials, and so on. I started here at the college a long time ago. I was going to take a few classes. I wound up uh, entering the Office Systems Technology program, loved it, and uh, went on to become an employee here, and I've been here almost 20 years and have enjoyed every minute of it. I'm really happy to say that I share this birthday with McHenry County College. I too am 50. And this place has just meant the world to me. MCC has given me more gifts than I can count. When I heard that they were going to move here and build a whole new campus, uh, I wasn't entirely happy with that because I'm pretty conservative about money. So I thought, well, they haven't finished using or utilizing the full extent of this uh, at the Pure Oil building. They should stay here and then consider it later. But was I wrong about that? I think the move here was the best thing that they ever did and it's a wonderful deal for the taxpayers. When I look at my tax bill and I see how little this costs compared to the local school districts and so forth, <laughs> Uh, I'm amazed and happy that this is one area where no one should gripe about their taxes spent on this facility. Uh, being surrounded with young, enthusiastic people, young people, has given me a tremendous boost in my life. I'm 76 years old now and my painting is actually getting better. And I like being a part of MCC because I feel like they bring a whole new idea of community college here. They want you to succeed and they push for you to succeed and they will help you most definitely in order to get where you want to go. I feel in the class the, the, the lecturers, the, the professors, they reach me at my point of need, you know. I don't feel lost in a, in a sea of so many students. So I want the classes here and I want the way they teach here so that I finish everything here. I'm going to do my associate first. I would have gone for the bachelor's straight, but I'm going to stay because of the support that I've received at MCC, and I'm really grateful. Muchas de las maneras que yo pienso que el uh, McHenry Country College ha, me ha ayudado es los maestros tienen experiencia de la vida real um, y, y traen a, la, a los salones su experiencia del trabajo que ellos tienen. Um, una de las cosas es que yo pienso que, este, que los estudiantes pueden tomar es um, tratar de seguir sus estudios y tratar de esforzarse, aunque sea un poco difícil. En 50 años de aquí, yo pienso que, que este colegio va a tener más tecnología, más clases, va a poder hacer este, uh, cosas 
que a lo mejor todavía no, no, no sabemos. So, ojalá sea un futuro diferente. Gracias. I, I started out as a union carpenter, and then when the economy kind of tanked, um, I came to um, MCC and got my associates in construction management through the Fast Track program. And um, from there, I went on and got my bachelor's and went out into the workforce in a uh, management position um, in construction. And unfortunately, construction hadn't come back um, quite as much as I had hoped. And um, so I kind of looked through other um, job opportunities and ended up in uh, manufacturing in aerospace. Um, so, you know, I, I, it, MCC really prepared me as far as like being um, with the uh, management and Fast Track was a great program. It, it, I ended up with a job right away. Um, I'm now in manufacturing in um, injection molding and so I looked to MCC again to um, see what kind of classes they could do to enhance the uh, job I have now which is a buyer planner position and they have um, another Fast Track program that I'm now enrolled in and it's an awesome program. I was in the, enrolled in the adult education program. I took the math class and the English class and currently I'm done with my GED and I'm enrolled in college in the MCC college to take a transfer course on physical therapy and I'm currently taking a math class now to move on further with that and in the future I hope I'm being probably maybe like a doctor, orthopedic doctor, or probably maybe a filmmaker, because that's where my real passion. Many factors contribute to student success. Among them is the leadership within the college. From the faculty, staff, and to administration, many have left their mark on the community. In the 50 years since we have been established, eight presidents have presided over our mission, which is currently held by Dr. Clinton Gabbard. 50 years and 50 more. That's the phrase that has resonated with me over the past several months as we've begun to celebrate a golden anniversary. We're at the crossroads of a wonderful legacy and an unbounded opportunity. And I'm grateful just to be here right now and thank those who have gone before us and serve with those facing the future. What makes me so excited about the next 50 years are the people who work here who are ready to carry on this legacy. They know that between the pages of all that we do, inside every outcome number, is the hope that we give to our students who need to believe that they're capable of doing great things. It's the confidence we bring to every student, challenging them to believe they can go anywhere from here. It's the success we're committed to for every student pursuing every educational pathway and dream. The next 50 years begins now, and we thank everyone who has created this great institution over the first 50. We're committed to making you proud of what we do with the baton that you are passing us. Thank you. As we look toward the future, we will continue to strive to be innovative and passionate about our disciplines and student success. It has been an incredible 50 years, filled with many exciting moments. We look forward to the next 50 and beyond. Mm -hmm.